Man, man, man. Man. I'm on stream right now. Cyrus is in here. So good, Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus. Um, so we got playback. TikTok trans woman scams followers of $370,000. There's a lot of scamming going on. I see my boy Rage, he got hit on a, he got a lick hit on him. Rage. 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 W man's rage. First of all, W man's rage. Cause you know, you gave him money, he needed it. Shit, but damn, that's crazy. Um, so a lot of scams going on. Let's see what this trans woman did. Let's see how she scammed people. $1,000 TikTok scam began with this Reddit thread right here. Posted on the 21st of May 2021 by a user named Debbie F. Cranken, it posed the question about how to raise $200,000. Let me read this for you, in case people you know. Greetings, everyone. My name is Debbie. I'm currently looking for tips on how to crowdfund an Indiegogo campaign for a project that utilizes virtual and augmented reality. It seems like from the tips I see online, the people that really have success on these platforms already built up a base of fans somewhere else before launching their project. However, I don't believe that's the only way people can reach their goals in time. And I was looking for people to help point me in the direction of communities that would help to find a project that utilizes virtual and augmented reality. I have looked into grants. Nonetheless, I have not found many places that have gotten back to me. You all have tips as to how I can meet the goal of my campaign within 40 days. I would really appreciate any responses that will help me get there in time. Because I know animating virtual reality content can be very for a graphic design difficult. project in the space of only 40 days with absolutely no prior experience or any goings on. Commenters would state that in order to raise that much money in such a short period of time, Debbie would need to build up a community beforehand to which she would respond in a way that indicated interest reading, do you mind giving me instructions to help me set up something like what you're mentioning? To build said community, Debbie Cranken would create a TikTok account on which she would also begin said fundraiser with a goal of $245,000, additionally giving everyone a brief overview of her career. The only thing was, this fundraiser wasn't anything to do with her original design project as discussed on Reddit. In fact, it had nothing to do with her career at all. The urgent $245,000 fundraiser was apparently for Debbie's male to female transition fund. The description made no mention of any design project either, and instead focused on Debbie's struggle as a transgender woman. However, the most important thing to note from Debbie's fundraiser description was a statement regarding where the funds would go. She'd passively mentioned that the money might be used for how housing and transportation, yet the overwhelming implication was that she needed finances to complete her transition. Voice training? Okay, so like, I see how the first, no, the first part is a scam, but like, no, she definitely put it all out there, like, this is what I'm gonna do, so I don't know how she really scammed people, because she definitely put it in her thing, you know? Yeah, man. Just keep wow. watching. You, you, need that, man. you, you can do that? Yeah, for sure. Why not? Especially when people give you money. Why can't you? You can train your voice to sound different? Yeah, man. Wow. At least somebody telling her that so they can get 5000 out of her. You think it's a scam? Yeah, for sure. Without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. I'm going so far as to show photos and descriptions of the doctors who will be assisting her in the process. With the fundraiser established <laughs> and ready to go, Debbie began to post consistently to her TikTok, with each video reinforcing this narrative that she was a struggling transgender woman in need of help from the community. Hey everyone, my name is Debbie. I have no family members or friends to support me after moving across the country to escape unsafe living situations and abuse. I struggled to find a place to live for nearly a year after arriving in California. After many would sympathize with her plight, Debbie gained over 50,000 followers within six months, and subsequently small donations averaging between $20 and $40 began to trickle into okay. the fundraiser. However, the average donation amount and quantity would skyrocket after countless larger <laughs> influencers got involved to help Debbie out, one of these being a creator by the name of Tarversia, who would create a 2 million view TikTok requesting that people go and help by donating to Debbie's fundraiser. In addition to raising awareness about Debbie's What is that video though? What is she doing? Is she dancing? One of these being a creator by the name of Tarversia, who would create a 2 million view TikTok requesting that people go and help by the so hard. fundraiser. In addition to raising awareness about Debbie's GoFundMe, Tarversia had also donated all of the money from her own TikTok creator fund, as well as agreed to donate any money that she would make from personal brand deals. This is and the reason you why. Gape? Hold on. 
Wow. Well, this is the reason why I just don't like it may it may sound bad when I'm about to say, but it's it's just the reason why I just don't donate like that unless I j- sincerely know what I'm donating to. I rather donate my time. I rather donate my efforts. I rather donate um, resources. But money, you, you just don't know what people are going to do with the money. You have no idea where it's going to go. I rather just donate wisdom and stuff like that. Donating money to um, a, a individual or an entity that you have That's no so idea about. what's going to, just so you can, and, I, and maybe you may, she may genuinely feel like it's a it's a good thing to do. Like she may genuinely feel like it. She definitely but, feels that way. She's yeah. got her whole TikTok creator fund ah, and brand deals. It's probably like forty dollars. Doesn't matter. Tick, TikTok fund, you know that. You know they they pay in pennies. I mean, is this <laughs> everything she had though? It's just yo, I, I'm I'm I, every single time because you know this is an ongoing problem, right? There's a bunch of people who are um scamming people through GoFundMe. Yeah, that's been a, that's been a problem. I mean, it's not really a problem. No, no it was like recently. I mean, it's, it's a no, problem. No, no. Did you see the recent thing where like she like this girl act like she was like kidnapped and like she was like screaming on the phone? She's like, oh my god, oh my god, y'all help me, y'all help me, I need money. It's literally fraud. Yeah, and then yeah, she little, got caught for fraud. No, no, they just see eventually and say, yeah, I lied about everything. And she didn't get jail time. I guess not. Dave, what you earn from the creator fund and any, and, and, and any brand deals. And any brand deals. However, Tiversia wouldn't be the only person to donate large amounts of money Damn. to the fundraiser, Ooh. as after it had gained traction with these larger influences, the top donator list began to fill oh, up. Oh, Phoebe! 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 Keegan! What's up? Young brother right here. Young brother, if I put a GoFundMe in my bio, Phoebe, will you donate? I know you just give away four bands. You just give away four bands. I need that expeditiously right now. Please, Phoebe. Phoebe, I'm in college. Phoebe, I need it. Please. Three thousand and four thousand dollars. I don't know you. Reaching seventy-six thousand dollars by mid-January two thousand and twenty-two. However, as the old saying goes, there's no such thing as free money, and it'll be at this point that Debbie Crankin, the creator of the fundraiser, began to get exposed in every way, shape, and form. We have boosted your videos and tried helping you because we thought you were a struggling black transgender woman, and you weaponized your own identity to scam. Damn. The first red flag was. Oh. <laughs> But he's mad. He must have donated. He must have donated like a hundred dollars, two hundred. Cause he's mad. He's really mad. Out of doubt, her response to having raised the initial seventy-six thousand dollars. While most people will be happy, you know, thankful, bro. or grateful to have received this much money as a donation, it'll. I came in and not receive any donation. I'm ready. Anyone who's still ready to send my message and donate, they came in again and share it. Cause all your positive emotions you can't possibly donate. I don't understand why people ignore me and why it has been hard for me to be so full of my become increasingly obvious that Debbie Crankin had absolutely zero appreciation or gratitude for the money that had been donated. Hey everyone, my name is Debbie and I'm a black transgender woman. This is Gavin, a white transgender man. Gavin was able to raise $50,000 in three days for his GoFundMe mm, campaign. Nice, nice, nice. I've been fundraising for months at this point for life-saving gender affirming care and my basic survival needs and I'm still struggling to meet my full goal. This is a perfect example. Is she saying, is she Let's saying? See. Damn, can you say thank you, Debbie? She's got 70 bands in a few months. That's a lot of money. Debbie, be grateful, please. She saying she's gonna die without it? I guess, I don't know. But you don't oh, need all of that, that Debbie. Money, you got 76,000, you can about that. That's free money, free money. Free 70 bands. In a few months? Yeah, in a few months. She, she, she was able to raise $76,000 in a few months. Said, well, look, look at this guy. He fucking raised more in less time. Yeah. What's wrong with y'all, man? Raise more! You know why? Cause he's white. That's all it is. Can you imagine like the Jesus like the like you know a how entitled you have to be, bro, bro? For you to compare the level she of so donation that you're raising that in contrast to money. someone yeah, else? Nigga, you're, <laughs> you're sick. You're sick! You're sick! You're disgusting, you're disturbing. Not even a thank you. Damn. Well, it's it's right. Right. Was... Well, you thank you. No, it's all my friends. Lazy donors. Damn. Well, how the yeah, LGBTQ yeah, community yeah, obviously yeah. doesn't care about the struggles of black transgender people. She'd post TikToks such as the one just shown, in which she didn't even acknowledge the amount that had already been donated, and instead said that she was being discriminated against as another transgender TikToker had <laughs> raised $50,000 in three days, which was unfair for Debbie. In addition to this, those who had donated and commented positive things on Debbie's fundraiser would be 
be met with hostility in return. Even when we were nice to you before the information spread around, your spoiled ass was still hurtful to people. Hope it goes well. Thanks for straight up ignoring my request to take action by reposting slash sharing the video. Good luck, Debbie. 813 likes, but people still decide not to repost the video on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. What the fuck? So keep knows? fighting, Debbie. I really hope the 586 people that like this repost the campaign, but you all never listen to me. So boost, stop commenting this underneath my videos and all 485 people who like this comment and didn't repost, like stop following me. You've already Whoa. raised a significant amount of money Damn. and you're berating the people that, in your comments that are actually that, giving that positive that energy, that sending positive that vibes your real. way. And it's not enough. So, that is so you're upset yeah, with no, that. It's, it's ungrateful. giving ungrateful. Was... It's giving entitlement. Debbie Crank hey, the message giving... to Mercy yeah, yeah, girl you. who created yeah. the 2 million view TikTok for the fun Razor, stating that 2 million views wasn't good enough and that she should have helped out. No, no, there's no way. 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 <laughs> that's no, really what she's saying. Basically, what she's about to start saying, yeah. bro. Come on, bro. This is the and this is in, uh, in all honesty. Oh, by the way, I see when you started wild. following. It's it really seven for seven. Nah, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's not justified. So but this definitely these, like, these are the reason why a lot switch. of people it's are never going to get on the side of what you're trying to fight for. If you really, I don't even think you're really trying to fight for. It. You're just selfish. Yeah, I'll take that back. You're not even trying to fight for. It. She's I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say, majority of people, it looks like that supported you aren't even black. So you can't turn around and say, well, I think my black person's not getting support from like this other person got more support. You've seen a lot of support from people that aren't black though yeah don't they you you're like diluting racism yeah she is like you're treating it like it's not a real thing by Facts. pretending like it has anything to do with your situation Fact. more than she already had the video that you made for debbie was viewed over two million times she was still sending you messages guilt tripping you in, in, in a way. Yeah, yeah, actually. Which was accompanied by a TikTok on Debbie Krangen's page stating this. Traversia has always been an extremely problematic creator and I should have never accepted her request to share my videos or support my campaign. However, things would become even worse when the audience discovered wow. that this $76,000 was less than a quarter of the total amount that Debbie had actually raised. We're going to find out that this person has other GoFundMes. Three other ones that, that I actually saw. I don't know if there's more. Debbie's safe housing fund that has 10,000 raised. Debbie's transition and survival fund that was $139,000 raised. This YouTuber going by the name of Life of Liss had discovered three no. other GoFundMes while another TikToker going by Killamoon discovered that by searching Debbie's name in the GoFundMe search bar, a total of five different GoFundMes would show up. A copy and paste no. five GoFundMes. One has two, the other 140K, 65K, 93K, and 10K. People continued to search no. further under the suspicion that she may have even more, at which point they'd find another four GoFundMes GoFundMes, each of which having different goals, with the money raised totaling over $350,000. You say that you have made no progress, but you have nine different GoFundMes and have raised over $350,000. It totaled out to over $350,000 that Debbie Deborah was Lick. able to oh my raise God, and actually scam people out of. Now, after Lick. hearing that little clip, you might still be thinking, where's the scam? Sure, she raised an absolutely insane amount of money across a bunch of different yeah, GoFundMes. Yeah, she totally has scam. been pretty upfront about where she planned on spending it, being She's a friend. Transition, or so she claimed. This is where the story takes a bit of an interesting turn. As it was being revealed that Debbie. This, I was waiting for this information. Transition is so not even that much. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no way it costs hundreds of thousands. No, it does. I mean, there is a way, but I mean, it just doesn't seem likely. Transitioning Maybe. surgery takes about 30K max. So nah, she made 10 times like, that amount of money. She, if she, she got, got like a little band out of GoFundMe, she, she must have been off the platform. Imagine the. Nigga, 350,000, bro. Imagine they're refining all, all that money. Bro, she she even if it did cost, let's say it cost. What is this? Let's just say it cost 100,000. She still has a third of that raised already, bro. She has more than enough to do that and another 200,000 after that. So even if you needed housing to live somewhere in LA, you have a, a hell of a a hell of a start, head start. He had raised over $350,000 for a gender transition surgery. Another male to female TikToker by the name of Zaya Persian, who had been through the surgery process, came forward to expose Debbie, stating that a full transition would cost nowhere near the amount that Debbie had raised. Okay, y'all, buckle up, because today we're going to be talking about Miss Deborah Crankin. In every single video she posts, she is promoting her GoFundMe so that she is able to afford her full medical transition. Deborah herself has claimed that her gender dysphoria is too bad to get an actual job. I myself have a GoFundMe for 
What? See, now, now, now look, this, this is what I'm talking about now, though. It's too Come bad on. to get an actual job. Come on. Like, it's so crazy. Come on. You couldn't work at Walmart. Come on, bro. Now, you're not going to make much at Walmart, but are you telling Come me on. it's so severe that the only thing you can actually do is make TikToks about it? Come on, bro. Come on. How do people like this live off? Like, even even live. Like bullshit. For my transition, just no, because okay. I'm black and trans does Skin, not mean people are required to donate to me. I'm getting top surgery and bottom surgery for less than $35,000. And Deborah has raised over $350,000 and is still claiming that she doesn't have enough. By the way, $350,000 is more than enough for at least three different people to fully transition. The more hopeful amongst her audience gave Debbie the benefit of the doubt, assuming that maybe she was going to a celebrity surgeon. Why are they so expensive? Oh, she's living in Beverly Hills. Maybe she's going to a celebrity uh, plastic surgeon that costs more. However, this was shut down by different- Dude, She just not need to live in <laughs> Beverly Hills? Oh, y'all think it's funny somebody like who lives in Beverly Hills is the craziest thing. Y'all know that she lives in Beverly Hills and still was backing her? Yeah, she needs to move to Chino Hills. Nigga, she needs to move to some Riverdale, Georgia, nigga. She does not need to be living in. She need to be living in College Park. She living in literally one of the most expensive states in the United States. It's crazy. No, the expense. It's not a state. Oh, about California. Yeah, but, she don't need to be in Beverly Hills is the one of the most expensive areas in yeah, the most yeah, expensive exactly, state. Yeah, exactly. She don't need to be nowhere near that state. Beverly, Beverly Hills is like just just Google Beverly Hills real estate. It's dumb. Yeah. It's dumb. The only person that lives there is someone that loves luxury. It's fucking Uncle Phil. Yeah. That's it. Well, that's, uh, um... Uh, Uncle Phil didn't live in Beverly Hills. He lived in West Philadelphia, born and raised in a playground around. Nigga, where do you live at? It wasn't... Bro, oh, yeah, you're from Canada, bro. person in real estate. This is tragic. He didn't live Thought in Beverly Hills, bro. I got one little fight my mom got saying that you... Bel Air. Bel Air. He went to Bel Air. Bel Air is probably the most expensive area. <laughs> Transgender woman oh, named CC Jacobs would comment, criminal mastermind. First of all, huh? all male to female surgeries combined would be less than 100K, even if you went to upscale surgeons for all of them. Feeling the heat from the allegations, Debbie Crankle would clap back against Zaya, stating that she was the problem with the black transgender community. I have not weaponized my identity. This little girl just looks crazy as hell in these videos. You should be ashamed of yourself for trying to tear down another black transgender person for some internet drama clout. And you are the reason why the black transgender community is so divided. You were the one perpetrating hate towards black transgender people. And subsequently, the two would end up in a hilarious live stream argument. I'm working hard. I'm actually doing it out here. I actually have something, a product to show people that we worked on for over a year. And you look like a clown. And you look like a clown. And people are going to continue to support me. Wait. And Wait, people you, like you are not going to stop me. Just keep begging, babe. You're a beggar. That's what you are. You guilt trip people. The reason I made a video about you is because you're begging for money for a transition that is already paid for. You're already paid for. You don't need any more money. Why are you asking for more when you have $350,000? Instead of Debbie addressing the claims on her TikTok with a decent rebuttal, she'd simply make her profile private. She has gone wow. private. So instead of answering these claims no, a with a TikTok post, she's, she's gone private. However, Literally this only seemed to bring more attention to the drama, leading another TikToker to expose Debbie further by stating that in the state of California, all of the surgeries can actually be completed for free. I'm a black trans woman in Los Angeles. All your surgeries through Medicare can be done for free. Debbie does live in California. What? She could get all these things for free. But who needs three hundred thousand dollars for surgery? So if the no, surgeries could be first of all, Cali passing that law is, is pretty, pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be like, that's an interesting law to pass. My tax, my tax money is doing what? <laughs> <laughs> And a Graham stepping, that's what he decided to leave. <laughs> Not even like at a discount, completely free? <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. But it actually is even worse. I mean, that, yo, nigga, you could have walked away with 350K. Can you imagine? She could have walked away with 350K easy. Yeah. But she, instead, she just start fucking complaining. She could have yeah. went to like, nigga. Hopefully that's all gone, gone Debbie. You get no time. money. Facts. 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 <laughs> so you decide to stay over stay it had to be in Beverly LA. Hills it had to be in Beverly Hills complaining dog free or for less than a hundred thousand dollars the obvious question was where had the excess money gone she has this expensive car an expensive apartment that she's what? paying and basically all of those funds went to supplement her lifestyle so from what we understand she hasn't really applied any of the money any of the three hundred and fifty thousand dollars to 
to get surgery for her transition. As it turns out, Zaya Persian, the girl who would argue with Debbie on live stream, wasn't finished with exposing this fraudster. The real reason Debbie feels like she doesn't have enough money is because she used the money from the GoFundMe to get a luxury apartment in Beverly Hills that is over $3,000 a month. She's asking for $10,000 for furniture, and she put $7,000 down on an Audi A5. And she's claiming it's that people don't share and donate, that they're transphobic and they don't like black trans women. After doing a little more digging, it's not only- Well, 3,000 in Beverly Hills is a dog shit apartment. Let's be clear. It no, but very, it's still- It's a very it, bad, tiny place. But it's like still, it's still crazy though that she, and that's, that's the fucked up part about it, that she's legitimately weaponizing a struggle that people actually go through. Yes, she is. Just to sit there and raise as much money as she possibly can and just scam people out of it. That's, that's the real fucked up part about this. Like there's actual problems that people go through and just weaponizing race and, 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 and gender identity is fucking crazy, bro. That is absurd. Yeah. For you to be doing that is crazy and if anything, you were literally the worst. You were literally one of the worst people representing that community. Which you think that other people are being divisive? No. You were actually the worst person so, trying to see here and represent them and doing it with not only a loud voice, but doing it with a vindictive one as well. Debbie being renting a luxury Los Angeles apartment, but she had also put a down payment on an Audi A5, the price of which starting at over 40,000 US dollars. Debbie once again refuted these claims. You lied and said I have an Audi A5. I don't have an Audi A5, so I don't know where the f I said I have one or where the f you or anybody else has seen me in an Audi A5. I don't live in Beverly Hills. You don't know my address. However, Zaya went on to post further proof showing that Debbie had been lying. Hate to break it to you, babe, but this is a screenshot from your GoFundMe with the bill of your car payment. And it says the color of your car is Mythos no. Black, which is a custom Audi color. Nah, you're crazy. <laughs> nah. Zaya got the receipts. She's a go. Because there's no way you're she, saying. She, yes, sir. To, no, I, oh my I, God, fuck that's her. crazy. She needs to go to an institute. That's actually crazy. Dead ass? I think so. I mean, because there's no way, like, you post the evidence and you say that there's no evidence of it all. Come on. That's crazy. Come that's, 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 that's crazy that's behavior. Crazy. So not only are you lying, not only are you couldn't lying, but then you act as if, like, the evidence wasn't out there that you posted. So either you are literally so, one of the worst liars of all time, or you genuinely yeah, believe, I like, like I don't know, split personalities, I don't know, but, like, maybe something mentally is wrong with you. So, no, I, that's this is beyond. Unless you just fly out lying, then something is mentally wrong with you, bro. Not, and this is way beyond fucking therapy. Yeah, and you're just a bad person. Fine, As people were discovering this information about where the money had really gone, other TikTokers began to regret their decision to donate. This was a huge bummer to me since I donated to her while being a broke college student. It's See? also a bummer to me as a trans person since I feel like no one is going to believe us anymore. And this is See, arguably that's what the I'm most saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's just fucked up that there's a subsection of people Damn. who feel like now what their struggle is will not be taken serious because of this shit right here. More importantly though, bro, nigga, fuck everything else. Fuck all this shit. You being a broke college student, I don't care what not age, what gender, what age, <laughs> I don't care where you live, nigga. You, if Sorry. you're a college student, you do not have the money to fucking donate, bro. You don't have the money to donate. Y'all need, also, y'all need to get y'all fucking priorities straight, bro. I don't care. When I was in college, I was not donating money. Hell no. If I donated money, that means that I was going to have to start a fucking GoFundMe, nigga, because I was broke, nigga. <laughs> oh, God. If I, nigga, that's like, hey, hey, that's like go going to the side and a homeless man passing me some money, nigga. I was broke. I had no way to donate. Debbie's black and white thinking in a world of grey clearly hasn't changed much. As she still updates her GoFundMe almost they're daily, down. always making sure to include a rude message, like, sharing her all got it. donating, on, such as this one from sense. last week reading, No donations. I have not been you. raising any money and I've barely received any donations all year for my campaign. This is a serious problem that's creating a lot of stress and a lot of problems. I need to reach my full goal for my campaign and if the lack of support continues, I'm going to have to do something different approaching fundraising. The lack of support has gone on for way too long and I'm currently unable to move forward with the remainder of my transition and I'm having trouble supporting myself in this time. Please share my campaign and be sure to donate again if you can. I really need all hands on deck and more people helping to spread the word. Get a job. Yeah, get a Sell job. your car. Yeah, suck. Oh my god. Debbie. Debbie. What is she like? 23, 24? Debbie. Come on, man. This is, this is disappointing. I have no words. Y'all heard all of it. 
Um, people, don't donate if you don't got it. One, two, give it some time before you donate, you know? And I, I like search up people's names in the GoFundMe to see if they have other campaigns. If they only have one, and you know, they look legit, you know, like there's like some evidence that they're going through stuff, then maybe donate, you know? If you have it, of course, but like, come on, let's be smarter, huh? Don't fall for scams no more. I don't fall for scams no more.